Alright, whatever everybody. Today I'm gonna bring like an old segment to my channel that I feel like a lot of y'all actually liked because they got killer support and some hilarious comments and a good bit of views on the videos too. So I'm gonna bring back some story times and I actually have a good one that happened maybe like a couple years ago when I was around like 12. Like I wasn't a teenager yet. I'll tell you that much. But I hope you guys enjoy the Mortal Kombat gameplay in the background. I thought I'd just add it just you know to be like most story time YouTube channels. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy, and uh, tell me if you want more uh, story times, and let's get into it. Okay, so this was 12 year Elijah, you know, young, nice Elijah, squeaky voice Elijah, you know, the one before he got into high school, but the one before he got his ears pierced, or you know, the one before he started dating freaking 8th graders, but other than that, I was pretty chill dude, you know, this, my life was pretty boring, my life consists of swimming, eating, sleeping, you know, pretty standard stuff. Kind of like my life is now. But anyway, so we went on vacation to Florida. We went to uh, Panama City. And um, every single year we go there. Each year my parents, my grandparents, and me. And so me and my papa like to like, you know, do cannonballs and stuff in the pool. It's just kind of like a thing we've always been doing since I was like, basically like a toddler. And so, he wasn't there that day. I think he actually went back to Florida, or went, not Florida, I think he went back to Alabama to get uh, our uncle, who was flying from Los Angeles, to come with us. But, so I went alone that day to the pool. You know, it was pretty normal. I met some uh, people there. I met uh, this dude named Jake and this girl named Claire, which were pretty chill people. They were pretty cool to talk to. And we ended up becoming friends. And uh, anyway, so I started jumping in the pool because they left. And um, I got really bored, so I started doing bat flips. And then they came back, actually. So I started talking to them again. And uh, they went to get something to eat. So I jumped in the pool again. And then I did a bat flip. And I landed right on my face because I didn't, like, I guess, like, jump far enough. So I ended up, like, doing, like, half a flip. And just landing directly on my face. And it really hurt. Like, it legit made me... It hurt so bad that it actually like, made me, like, um, disoriented for a little bit. So, uh, what ended up happening was... I was, like, in no man's land, basically. Like, I just couldn't, like, focus. Because, you know, when you're like, disoriented, you can't really think straight. So, I come out of the water. And I get out of the pool. And instantly... Alright, so, keep in mind. I'm in, like, the deep end of the pool. Like, the very deep end, like... I mean, like, I think it's like, um, it goes, like, t like, two feet, then it goes six feet, then it goes eight feet, then ten feet, then, like, finally it's twelve feet. And twelve feet is, like, the place where, like, you're meant to jump. Or, like, you know, like, do stuff in. Because, I mean, like, the two feet and six feeters are kind of, like, little kids. And they even had, like, a little, like, uh, section or, like, a little rope that, like, separated, like, the twelve feet from the, um... Uh, 10 feet in like the other feet that were lower than 10 so um I was in that section but when I come out of the water immediately like literally like immediately as like my head like comes out of the water this guy starts yelling at me have no clue who he is by the way just starts yelling at me and he's like I'm gonna get the security kicked to I'm really gonna get the security and get y'all kicked out of here for flushing me and my daughter I can't believe this this is really insane I come here with my family every single day and just for this to happen to me? And ba basically what ended up happening was, when I did a backflip, I did apparently like a really big, like, splash. And I ended up splashing, like, this guy and, like, his two-year-old daughter. Which, I mean, is nothing new. But this guy must have got, like, pretty triggered. But, yeah, so in instantly my mom comes out of nowhere. And she starts yelling back at the dude, saying, like, you idiot. You're in a 12-foot zone. Like, you shouldn't be here anyway with, like, your daughter. If you feel like your daughter to be, like, you know, like, be safe and, like, you know, not get splashed and go to, like, the lower, like, pool or go to, like, the kids' section of the pool. Because there was two pools. We had, like, a baby pool, basically, that was, like, really warm and just crappy. And then we had, like, the main pool that everyone went to. And so, anyway, um, my mom's yelling back at this guy, and so is my friends, too. Like, they come out of nowhere, and I didn't know what was happening I ended up asking my friends, like, hey, what's going on? And they're like, basically, when you did the flip, you splashed him and his daughter, like kind of said earlier. And basically, he was getting all pissy at you and threatened to kick you guys out for literally just splashing them, even though they're in a pool. 
And I'm like, wow, really? And they're like, yeah, like, look at your mom. And my mom was still continuing to yell at this guy. And eventually my mom said something and just pissed off from him because she just couldn't handle him. And keep in mind, like, this guy was, like, not that big. Like, this was, like, 12-year Elijah, by the way. Like, the Elijah Forrest, you know, he got bigger, started working out, got an attitude, and could actually get aggressive. And the one before he started, like, street boxing and all that. So I pretty much, like, just, like, sat there and just, like, listened to the dude. And I ended up saying something. I don't remember. I think it was along the lines of, like, just go to, like, the other pool. And he just, like, I think he just went away. And not too long ago, guess who's coming back? Yep, the dude. I don't remember his name. I think he, like, he told, like, my mom his name and all that. Because, like, he apologized to my mom. I th he apologized to me, though. So that's something. But, um, he said, like, yeah, I'm sorry. Just, like, I got really mad. And, you know, my daughter, I wanted her to stay safe. I'm like, yeah. But, if, like, you know, to keep her safe, go to a lower part of the pool. Like, this pool is pretty big. Like, it isn't, like, a, like a small pool. That you'd find like at like a standard like park or something. Like this pool was massive. It looked like a freaking lake. Like it was huge. So for him like, to be all the way over there while I'm splashing. Just to, like to get mad at me was pretty ridiculous. And anyway. <clears throat> nothing much after happened that. I think like I told everybody in the family what happened. And I think my papa got pretty pissed at it. And um. Nothing else really happened much. I didn't see that guy, like, the whole entire time we were there. Or, I haven't seen him ever since that time. I mean, I'm going back soon, so maybe I might see him. And, you know, me and him can have, you know, a fight, round one. And I'll let you guys know what happens. But that's pretty much about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I did leave out some parts, but, I mean, they weren't really important. I just kind of like, want to, like, cut to the chase, because, I mean... I get that you guys don't like watching like 80 minute videos like some other guys pe do. So um, yeah, that's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you want more of these. I would gladly upload them. I kind of did like making this video, talking to you guys and telling a nice kind of funny story. And uh, yeah, take care y'all.